Daniel. Today I want to talk about healing. We tend to usually think that we have no control of our feelings at all, or if we do, it's very limited. Most of us really just want to feel happy or to feel better, which are vague, vague things at best. So then outside of that, what do we want? Well, we might want a nice new car, or we might want the right job, or, or we might want Disney Plus or whatever. But the truth is that we aren't interested in things or even experiences. We think we are, but the truth is what we like is the way it makes us feel. So I like the feeling of having a new car, the feeling of not having to worry about the car breaking down because it's new. I like that feeling. I like the secure feeling that I would have more than, I'm, it's not the thing I want, it's the feeling I get from the thing. It's all feelings. And because it's all feelings, it comes from us. Because happiness comes from us, we can try to feel empowered, like we have some measure of control. It's not about our life circumstances. All our emotions are created by our minds, and that means that we have power. We keep thinking we need to get the right car or the right job or the right partner before we can feel any measure of contentment at all. So through a lot of life, we're just anxious and miserable. And all of our culture, all of advertising is to make us feel like what we have is not enough, like we are not good enough, like we need a lot. Even if we already have a lot, we need a lot more or else we're not complete. That's all of advertising is founded on that notion. We always want things because we're predicting how those things will make us feel. And we're often wrong. So I want to go to the top of Pike's Peak. But what I really want is to have the feeling that I will feel when I get to the top of that mountain and I look down. That's what I want, is that feeling. I think that feeling will be wondrous and amazing. Now, it often feels like we're not in any control of our feelings or our thoughts for that matter. We're reacting to things all the time. Something happens, I get annoyed. Something happens, I'm disappointed. I don't have ownership of those things that happened, but my emotions were all responses, which means, can I respond differently? That's the question. It's helpful to is it helpful to think that way? I think it is. I think it reminds us, no matter what happens, your feelings don't happen to you. You are not powerless. So I struggle with anxiety. I worry about things that aren't even happening, and I get really concerned sometimes. Why? No reason. Worry is almost always unhelpful. It's almost always nonsense. That's not to say that there aren't real things to worry about. Of course there are, but often we are worried about nonsense. So what I want to suggest is when you have a feeling that's making you worry, what I try to do is I try to just reflect and think, is this important? Is this as bad as I think it is? Is this feeling bullshit? That is that is the question to ask yourself. And almost always that doesn't work. Almost always I start worrying about nonsense and I ask myself, is this worth worrying about? And I keep worrying. But maybe 10% of the time I can just take a step back and think, oh, well, maybe this isn't that big a deal. My feelings are determined by my thoughts about them. And then one other thing we can ask ourselves is, what is causing this? Question number one, can I do anything? Question number two. Again, usually you can't do anything, but just reflecting on that is empowering, and that is a big first step. So that's what I wanted to say today. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Have a good day.